Hey YouTubers, uh, welcome to the channel. This is my first video on DIY Tactical and uh, I'm just going to do a quick video on how to draw an M4 carbine, uh, which is basically just a shorter version of the longer M16 you know, variant. Uh, it's going to look very similar to the Modern Warfare's M4A1, um, which I'm, most of you are probably familiar with. Um, but it's just going to be a kind of modernized um, version, similar to what you might see. It's going to have just a bunch of components that I think look cool. Um, it's going to give you kind of an idea of just kind of how to structure the rifle in general, or the carbine in general. And so you can draw it with any of your comics, or you can go off of it, and uh, uh, you'll be able to use this basic structure as a guide for anything you really want to do with a firearm. I figure, I, I tend to think it things look a little bit more legitimate when they're done and they look, they're based off of something that exists. It's a little bit more um, substantial rather than looking like a toy gun that you'd find at Walmart, which I see a lot of times. So um, let's just jump into it. Um, I used my straight edge to get this, this top line here. Um, but you can, if you're confident, you can totally just sketch that out, um, you know, with your pencil. But basically what we're going to do is going to go kind of towards the center of the center here, and we're going to go with a, a square shape. Um, I'm going to do mine about this size. And I might not have the room that I need with this, but just for sake of showing you guys something bigger, um, I'm going to keep it this size, so. What we're going to do is we're going to bisect this square that I've just drawn, and then we're going to add another um, little section. So you're you're in a, a rectangle, uh, excuse me, rectangular shape here with three cells. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bisect this across just to get our center line. Um, just kind of keep following me here. So we'll come down, and we're going to come over here, and something kind of like this. Um, and from this point, you kind of have the basic shape of the receiver. It'll be an upper and lower receiver is going to be right here. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a little bit circle about that size here. And right in the corner here, you're going to do a circle. And those are the pins that hold these things, uh, the, the upper and lower receiver together. So um, another line basically here. Now we're going to take this, this bottom rectangle here, and it's more of a rectangular shape. And we're just going to square it out. And then right next to it, you're going to put another square, and you're going to try to get it about the same size as this one. And you'll start to see where this thing comes to shape. So um, off this, you're just going to give a nice diagonal shape. You don't want to come too far this way. It'll look funny. Um, so definitely not straight down, which is kind of an in-between here. And then here, you're going to come off it, bring that line down just a tad, and come off at an angle, a triangle, and then uh, do this number. Now you can kind of start to see what's taking place here, <clears throat> what kind of structure we're getting. Um, so from here, I'm going to actually, I'm going to take this off. Usually I would start with the receiver only, and I'll do a little bit more in-depth video on that later, but go ahead and follow this out as far as you want your barrel, or excuse me, your rail system to go, and just square that off. And back here, we're going to come off it about this far, make a square, or uh, square that off, and then we're going to come, and we're going to make something just a little bit, I would say around the same size as the, the, the box you made here, or same length. And that's going to be the length of your um, stock or brace or whatever you want on there. So, all right, here's our basic design, uh, our basic structure. <clears throat> now we'll go in with the uh, darker marker, and I'll, I'll kind of interject with the pencil uh, on occasion and, and give myself some extra um, guides, but from here we're going to start with um, these two corners, just make a dot here, and just go ahead and make a nice little curve here, bring that follow up. Um, here... We're starting this, uh, the trigger, so I'm going to curve up like this, and it's going to be a rounded. So you think it's square, 
but it's actually a rounded, um, until you get to this bottom piece, it's actually a rounded um, inside that trigger guard here. So I would point this just a tad, almost like a heart shape, but this top is flat. So from this point, I'm going to take off, I'm going to start with this bottom corner and I'm going to take it off and make a nice slope to this. Triangle it back to that guiding line. And then we're going to come around, and come down, outline these uh, pins, and come back. So um, you can kind of see what's going on here. You can kind of see the basic structure. Um, thinking at the end of the pin, we're going to come straight up. And now I'm going to actually jump back here to this. And then we're going to trace this line over and down just so there's enough space in between here um, bringing that back out and what I like to do you, there's all sorts of different grips you can put on this thing and I'll do a couple different videos on the different types of stuff you can do what I like to do is follow this out like this tiny bit of a lip right there bring it straight down and here go in do a tiny, tiny bit of a curve, gentle curve there, and then bring that out. Now that's, um, if you're not comfortable with doing that, you can really kind of, you can mess the way this thing looks if you haven't practiced a lot. So sometimes you can definitely do just a straight one and it'll look just fine. So, um, but that's just my um, flare here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're adding some shape to this. I'm going to bring this line straight across here. And that is going to be your, whoops, it's a little crooked. I'm gonna bring it straight across here and that's your receiver break here where these pins hold the top to the bottom. What we're gonna do is add a little square here, bring it down, back up, and then from the bottom of this pin, you're just gonna bring that straight over. Add a little line here, just add these highlights. You can figure these out after. This is most of the detailing stuff, but the basic structure remains the same. So trigger pins, and we're gonna add another tiny circle here, with two outliers right there. So from there, I'm actually gonna have you drawing the bolt assist right here. Now you're gonna follow this circle, which was almost dead centered, uh, a little bit over dead centered, um, over your grip here. And we're just gonna take this line. You can do a triangle if you want to, you can do a square. I like to curve it slightly. And then we're coming in here. Boom, right? Um, so, we got, some, we got some things looking like they're supposed to be looking at this point. Um, Definitely you can add the trigger and just gonna follow follow the shape of the trigger guard, which is this hole right here. Um, from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys draw a line from this side of the pen, the beginning of this pen, all the way over to this piece right here where you see your magazine release, which is this button. And you're going to bring it up like this and straight across. Center up a little bit and you've got your spring in there. So um, now we're going to be putting in what's called the brass deflector, which is basically um, when a shell ejects, it hits this and keeps it from uh, keeps it bouncing out this direction from the gun so it doesn't come back at the shooter. So we're here. We're going to come right across. And there, I mean, you you can really start to start to see it take shape now. Um, going to the charging handle, we're just going to come straight up here. And from here, um, we're adding the rails, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it just from the top of this circle that I just kind of did a gentle slope down here. We're gonna take this as consistently as you can over to the end of the receiver and 
that's the start of your rails. That's that's going to be under the lip of the rails here. Um, now, what I like to do for optics here is I'm going to be putting an aim point micro on this, which is a style of optic you see on the game. And um, the thing about these is you actually have to have them on a riser because in real life, um, it's real hard to get your eye this this far down in order to see down an optic that doesn't have a riser. So what I'm going to do here is going to be creating an outline. You're going to want the base to be about um, a little over half the size of the dust cover, which is this flap right here that we just drew. And I'm going to do a nice square shape. It's nice and tall there. Um, and then I'll be drawing in a curve. Just in case you haven't gotten everything quite square, I like to do this curve. And it kind of makes it look like, a, you know, it's kind of a cheat. kind of makes it look like um, you did things just right, um, even though you didn't. So this um, optic is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to draw it for you. Coming right up across here. And optics are a funny thing. You, you can get really creative with optics if you, if you want to. If you're doing some sort of fantasy thing, you can make them, you know, some great big device or some tiny little itty bitty little thing you, you think in the future. Um, but you can also look up different devices that you can draw and I'll be doing a video on doing different optics in the future. I'm going to do a, a rear sight real quick. And what we do with the rear sight is we're actually going to overlap this charging handle back here before we draw the rails. And then, um, this is kind of what I do as the rails. I just learned how to, you can do squigglies, you can draw a line and do circles, you can do, uh, there's all sorts of different ways to make a, a rail look like a rail um, and get it decently convincing. But there's pretty much your, your AR-15 receiver. Um, I'm actually going to add these pieces right here, which are important because it actually protrudes like that. It gives you room to slide the bolt. Um, from here, we're going to start on either a rail system or we're going to move to the back end of the, of the firearm. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this all the way out. And I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a flashlight and a laser to the top of this rail because it's kind of a special forces version. Um, and, uh, so... Basically, you're going to draw your light and anything you, you want on your rails first with your outlines before you draw the rail because it's, it's just going to get in your way. So this is a basic flashlight design um, that I came up with. Well, I didn't really come up with it. It's kind of a, a simplified version of what a real-life light looks like or one of the real-life lights you can get looks like and then I'm gonna do a real easy just a box up on top like this and we're gonna put a nice uh, screw side in there and a little button and that's gonna be what what our laser is gonna look like from there I'm actually gonna put extend out this top rail all the way to it and I'm going to add a pressure switch for these and the wires that go to them. So we've got some pressure switch. We got, we've got a laser. We've got a light. Um, we have our attachments that could get in the way of us drawing our rail. And those are kind of out of the way. So now we can go to draw the rail, rail itself. And this is going to be kind of a simplified rail. When I'm going to come over here, I'm going to create a little box. Two screws to hold that together. And from here, we're going to take and bisect, or excuse me, not bisect, uh, draw, just let that line kind of split two others going along here. And that's going to be our MLOX system. Now, keeping along with the, the guidelines here. So, simplified, very simple. I'm just going to be doing uh, lightening cuts, lightening, not lightening. Um, these are just to make it a little bit lighter and they, um, 
exist on most carbenes like this. Boom. Boom. And from here, draw a little circle. Now, I'm not doing a full Picatinny rail on this because that's just a lot more work. You do tons of these little marks, but adding our top Picatinny before I'm going to do a real quick grip. Boom. And you can just kind of get creative with all this stuff. Um, I'm going to come out straight out with this and with our top line I'm going to follow that with a basic suppressor design. Boom. So we've got our rail done. That's our rail. Um, very simple, very easy, and I'll do a different video on how to do more complicated rails. Basically what we're going to do here is we're going to start on our stock. So we'll come back, do this loop here. This is where the uh, sling attaches, so we'll come off that. And then draw a real quick square, which could, uh, could be a castle nut. Bring this back. And now we're just going to outline our butt stock here, which comes back to right here. Now, you can leave it like that if you want. Some people prefer that look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to run my pencil in a, in a line here and give myself a basic shape. And now I can get kind of crazy. I like to go, I like to do this number. I think it looks cool that way. There's a little bit of grip on the back of that. And then there's all sorts of different things you can do. I like to come out here and do this connection here. And then I'll do something kind of like this and add a little cheek pad right there. Something you do not want to forget back here that just adds some character is a little place to hook a sling um, QD, which is what I put right there. That just kind of adds some character to it. Now we're almost done. So, um, the magazine. This is the last part of it. This is pretty simple. Um, but what I can do tell you is you, do, you don't want to come too far out here. You don't want to come too far over or make it too curved. They're really, really gently curved if you're trying to go for a realistic look. So um, I like to start here. I just do a kind of a gentle, gentle curve like that, getting it out here. If you want to, you can add a couple of these guidelines just to get you there. But uh, that takes a little bit. It took a little bit of practice for me to get that, that gentle curve right. So what we're going to do is we're going to bisect here and then we're going to add our boom from here. And you can do all sorts of cool stuff with the magazines, right? The designs you put on the magazines, you can do a skull, you can do whatever you can add grit like stippling in here this is very basic usually you're going to want to to finish it off we're going to want to put some sort of symbol in here and i just like to go for a basic i usually put an a or i do this which is your basic um just a military style logo design um anyway that's your AR-15. That's your modernized AR-15. That's a basic structure. I hope this helped you guys. I'll be doing shorter videos on how to do different muzzle devices and different optics and different um, butt stocks and magazines and, and, all, and triggers. There's different triggers. All sorts of different cool stuff you could do. Um, and I love to see what you guys um, draw. So um, eventually, I, you can, <laughs> maybe I'll... I'll get my email up there and you guys can uh, show me some of your work, what you guys come up with, and maybe I'll show it if I, if I really like to. We'll see where it goes. Anyway, this is DIY Tactical. Thanks, guys, for watching.